Hello guys, this is Reese from Barmerito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis, a windy St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Atlas Crossport SEL Premium R-Line, four motion. This particular one is pure gray on the exterior with dark burgundy leather interior. It features LED headlights, LED running lights, the much more aggressive R-Line front end with the larger air intakes and a splash of chrome and piano black, 21 inch R-Line wheels, the Brazelton wheels, that bowl line down the side, chrome window surrounds, silver roof rails, faux quad exhaust tips on the back, the Atlas name badge just above or just below the Volkswagen logo, body colored panels below the chrome line on the car, the side doors and the bumper, keyless entry on four doors, power folding mirrors, remote start, adaptive cruise control, lane assist, Let's take a look inside. Now this car just came off the truck. If I don't make the video now, it will be gone and it'll never exist in video. These cars go fast. So the ignition is on, but the car is off because it'll run out of gas. Lumbar support right here, forward and back here, seat back adjust right here, memory seats here. And as we climb in here, there is a look at that premium stitch right there in the door inset with the dark burgundy uh, inset on the door panel and the arm pad here. Chrome switches, tips on the switches here. Power folding mirrors, uh, heated mirrors, one touch up, one touch down on the windows. Automatic headlights right there. Coin box for storage right here. The new R-Line uh, steering wheel here. It's uh, similar to what you get in the GTI. Not quite as, as meaty or thick, uh, but it's pretty close. Uh, you have the perforated um, grip here at nine and three. I'm gonna go ahead and start this guy up. It's a little stuffy out, but it's got zero miles to empty. We'll see that here. Here's a look at your uh, radio. It's AM, FM, and satellite radio with gesture control. Pretty cool. Also, your backup camera has trajectory steering. You can turn the wheel left or right, and it moves accordingly. I do also have a 360 camera right here. Whoops, 360 camera right here and I can uh, change the quadrants just by tapping a quadrant here and changing the view. I also have these different views here, trailer hookup, fisheye, um, and then basically the rear camera. I can also turn that off there. AM, FM, and satellite radio, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and MirrorLink are all wireless. I can do those uh, without hooking up here. I do have two USB-C connections right here and a wireless charging pad right here. I also have a 12-volt um, charger port right there. The auto start stop shut off is right here. Uh, and then the hazards button is right here. You do also have on this digital cockpit here, I can actually bring up navigation and I can actually move it from here over to the digital screen here. Just like this. Uh, you turn off park assist. You do have park assist on here too. So um, I'm waiting for that to go out there. There's a look at your insta your navigation right there, uh, your instrument cluster. You have widescreen, you have crop screen, and you have dial screen. Uh, I personally like the widescreen. Storage bin right here. You have a speaker right here. Auto dimming home link mirror here with the four buttons, three for garage door memory and one for Bluetooth. Digital compass right there. Vanity mirror on each side with an LED light above. You have that on each side and that dark headliner right there as well. Giant panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade. That sunroof opens. That panel stacks on top of that glass panel back there. Pop-up windscreen right here. Very nice and it covers all of the passengers here. So in the back seat, they're under glass as well. These seats are heated and ventilated if I didn't already mention that. You have storage in here with another USB-C connection right here. There's a drop-in safe where you can lock valuables in here as well. Uh, it's about 250 bucks for that. Uh, especially if you're concealed carry, you can do that. Um, you also have a uh, cup holder light right here. In the glove box, there's your manuals, your tire warranty and what have you are all right here. Seat belt clip protectors there if you're using child seats. Carbon fiber pattern across the dash here, trimmed out in silver, goes into the door panel there. You do have Fender Premium Audio on here as well. It's in the nameplate there. Then you do also have um, 
on the screen here let's see here we're gonna go to menu and we're gonna go to sound you have your subwoofer here mid bass and treble all of those good things there you can set it all up here your eq and then also positioning so if you had someone sleeping in a car and you didn't want to disturb them you can actually move the speakers away from them or the sound coming out of the speakers rather um, and then again you have navigation you have am fm and satellite and gesture control I just want to make sure i don't miss any of that stuff there here's a look at your heated seats and ventilated seats you can run them simultaneously and I don't want to do anything that's going to zap this gas tank any further than it already is. So I'm going to turn the ignition off and I'm going to turn it back on in the accessory mode and it's going to do some beeping at me. You do have a power lift gate for the back. Let me go over that real quick. I can lift up on that guy right there and that opens the lift gate there. And I can also lift up on that guy and close the rear hatch as well. Lift up and hold. There's a look at that interior again. This one comes in at 53,740. Extras on this one include 395 for the paint, that pure gray exterior, 880 for the MDO package, which includes monster mats, heavy duty trunk liner, cargo blocks, or cargo cover, uh, auto dimming home link mirror, uh, we'll draw it with the memory, uh, and then also uh, Volkswagen puddle lights for 210 bucks, trailer hitch extras for another 165, and a roadside assistance kit for 90 bucks. And we can't seem to get away from the wind this year. It's always windy when I make these videos, and it's actually blowing doors shut. So I want to hold this with my hand here. Here's a look at that door inset on the back seat, the arm pad right here, and you have this adjustable sunshade right here or removable sunshade i should say right here you have that for both doors back here in the back seat these seats are also heated on the outboard seats the middle seat is not whoa i'm just going to climb in here because it almost knocked me over good grief there is a look at the uh the uh magazine pockets here and here you also have um heated seats back here so they're three phase start on high and medium and low and off on each side and then you also have your vents back here as well for your rear passengers and you have two usb-c connections here and a 12 i'm sorry three prong plug-in right there here's a look through from the back to the front instrument cluster right there center console armrest and a look up at that giant panoramic sunroof that covers the back as well there's a look at those seats right there the door inset uh the seats here with the car seat hookups on either side here fold down armrest right here with a cup holder in here, it's squishy yet firm. And this is how you know your car is brand new if they left this on. This is the number one forgotten thing in these cars uh, to take the plastic off of the cup holder. Squishy yet firm, adjustable headrest there. The seats do recline too. That one's reclined, this one's upright. So you can see the difference there. These seats are heated as well. They're just not ventilated like the front seats. There's a look through again at the front. Let's take a look at the rear hatch. Let's look at those gorgeous 21 inch Brasselton wheels. There is an easy kick open hatch for the rear here, as well as uh, just the manual handle there. There's a look at the seat backs there. It's a true five seater, there's that seat reclined. These seats are still reinforced with a plate there in the event of a rear impact crash that keeps things from back here from sliding up there and injuring people in the seat there. Here's a look at your privacy cover right here. Front license plate bracket right here. We put that on on request on the R lines. Your tow hook extras or your uh, tow hitch extras. Here's your tow hitch cover. You also have the accessory bag here. And the tow hitch is actually the hitch ball is in this box here. Roadside assistance kit is right there. Cargo blocks here. Again, that privacy cover still in plastic there. And your monster mats that say Atlas right here. Here's a look at the adapter. The adapter that takes your USB-C from a uh, back to a USB-A cargo protection system right here underneath the floor here. There's your spare. It's a quick release spare, uh, a quick release subwoofer in your spare, I should say, and your jack apparatus is off to the right. Trunk light recessed over here, and also one over here. A 12 volt charger port right here. A hidden bag hook right here, and also one right here as well. And this is the track that your privacy cover goes on to cover the back seat here. There's a look through from the back to the front again. There's a look up at that giant panoramic sunroof. And your power lift gate right here. Down below, here's a look at that trailer hitch. The trailer hitch comes with the seven pin adapter attached. So you're ready to go there. 
right there. This car will come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That's four years, 50,000 miles, and includes two years of free maintenance. If you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm gonna give you a third year of free maintenance as well. So your 10 and 20 and your 10, 20, and 30,000 mile oil changes are all covered. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm gonna give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 miles nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. So if you're interested in a deal like that, give me a call, 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resells Cars. Remember, you can fly in and drive out. I'll pick you up at the airport. These cars move fast. I don't expect this car to last very long. Again, 636-290-4257. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.